Now welcome back to another episode of 1500 Diamonds. If this is your first episode, don't worry about it. There's a playlist on the channel. Just click on channel playlist and you can find it and then watch it from episode number one. We currently have six wins. We're three wins away from getting Matt Chapman. And if you're wondering what exactly is 1500 Diamonds, we start with a team full of common players and through Battle Royale game rewards, we actually go ahead and upgrade the players or replace the commons, I should say. That being a three game, six game, nine game, 12 game. And if we go flawless, a flawless reward as well, but we cannot include what we get from the standard pack. Nonetheless, if you're new here and up new on today's content, make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's aim for 85 likes because Matt Chapman is an 85 overall. Hit that red subscribe button as well. Join the kingdom and then click on the channel, community tab, interact with me there. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram at Blademist. Same way it's spelled on the YouTube channel username. And as always, this is for Gramps. So let's get this grind going. Let's get three wins and see who our 12th game will be. So we're going to be facing the Texas Tech Red Raiders. We got Miguel Sano playing up to 78. Conforto playing up to an 83. And then after that, we got Guerrero playing up to a gold. And our bronze starting pitcher is playing either up to a silver or he's actually a silver. I'm not sure because when I picked him in the starting rotation, it looked like he might have been a silver. That was a fastball. I thought I got good wood on it, but turns out I was a little bit underneath it. It's going to be a fly out to the center fielder. We're going to start off Ty Cobb with the fastball outside, see what he does with it. Now this Ty Cobb does have tremendous power against righties and lefties. So he's definitely a viable card and game for center field if you don't have Mickey Mantle in particular. I have a feeling he might be still in here. So I'm not sure whether I want to pitch out. I'm going to go ahead and say no, he's not going and throw a curveball instead. That he absolutely lifts and hits a two-run blast with. So we're trailing two and we're away. That's never a good thing. I'm going to take out the starting pitcher as soon as possible because I can't afford to be down any more runs. Not going to give him a mound visit just yet, though. That curveball, it just absolutely hung. There was absolutely nothing I could have done about it. Easy. No way. Please tell me that wasn't out. It didn't even allow me to throw or anything, so there was absolutely nothing I could have done. How about a slider on the inside corner? Can we get that? It hangs. He bangs. That's basically the recipe. Hang a slider, he just absolutely crushes it. I'm going to go with the circle change to start off Sander Bogarts. And he's going to get on top of it. Hopefully Miguel Sano actually makes the play here. And he does just that for the final out of the inning. Come on Dave, get on base here. Good fastball. Just laid on it. Hit it the other way. I'm going to second base. Even though he's a diamond defender, has 99 arm strength, I do believe I'm making it in there safely. And the risk ends up paying off as we get a runner in scoring position instantly well that curveball right there i more wanted it to be a check swing rather than anything else but unfortunately he just didn't hold up his bat got on top of that sinker good swing timing i just got on top of it not much i could do there now i need thomas he's been clutch for us these past two games especially allowing us to get a gold i need him to come through clutch here and get himself on base. He's gonna intentionally walk him to face Lourdes Guerriel Jr. I need Guerriel to come through clutch. He's been struggling a bit for us, hitting 296. So I need him to wake up right here. I just am not placing the PCI on the ball. That's basically it right there. I've had some pretty good pitches to drive. Just haven't been able to place the BCI on it in order to take full advantage of them. That was not fooling me. Unfortunately, Cordero doesn't have too much power. So he wasn't able to get that one to land. Come on, Robbie. I need you to get a base hit here. Or hit a home run. That's perfectly fine as well. Because Miguel Sano is up next. If he can get on base, if we can get Michael Conforto to get on base, that brings up Dave Kingman, and I'll feel a lot better. But I need to hit a home run here, most importantly. Come on. Come on, Miggy. Well, I missed the PCI just like I missed the PCI the previous time there with Miguel Sano. So two opportunities with Miguel Sano for me to blast one, 
and both opportunities unfortunately were to no avail that's gonna be ball four so we were down to our final strike managed to get the walk and now hoping that Dave can get himself a base hit to bring up Zach I like that pitch too much not to go ahead and try to get a base hit on it it was a cutter inside try to hit it right back up the middle unfortunately it didn't get the result we wanted so what we're gonna be doing is adding the first couple of players to the squad to upgrade it it's a little unfortunate but that's fine what we're gonna do to end this episode off is actually draft our next team so you guys can see what we're gonna be working with and then I want you guys to comment down below how well do you think our next team will perform in terms of wins I thought this was a 12 win team personally but that's all I can say but you know we didn't get there so we get Starling Castro we get ourselves a center fielder and Byron Buxton and then let's open up the pack just to see what we end up getting and what we could have added so nobody in particular let's go to battle royale and start the next draft so a pretty bad first round if you ask me there's really nobody that I actually would go crazy for I think we might end up going with Rod I don't think Tom is actually worth it not for battle royale but I could get a lot of better second basements this could be a staple in our bullpen I think I'll take Tom here honestly and then we get Hansel Robles Hansel Robles performed pretty well for us we'll take Nate Carnes doesn't have a bad arsenal either Reese Hoskins that was a no-brainer Miguel Andujar he's playing up today but I don't think him playing up means we should go pick him up Trevor Rosenthal didn't perform that bad for us Nolan Arenado he doesn't have 80-80 Yasmani Grandal we'll take him at catcher we can probably get ourselves a better third baseman I'll take Nova as the starting pitcher Roberto Osuna slurve changeup he was disgusting last year but I don't know so much about this year I'll take Osuna could have went with Judge as well Eric is not a bad second baseman and he's playing up against right handers Brian Reynolds not a bad center fielder either defense leaves a lot to be desired I think I'll take the closing pitcher Pineda he's a three pitch man can't have that on the team Victor Reyes doesn't really have power Austin Slater doesn't really have power either Gene Segura don't really like the defense I think the bat should be decent have we played with him actually he's playing down I think I'll just take Mike Miner at a silver starter and then Hunter Renfro he has been a cheat code but after he got nerfed I don't I don't know how much of a cheat code he still is but Hunter Renfro he is gonna be the guy we go to for the gold round a pretty bad gold round if you ask me I'll take Marcus even though he doesn't have a great arm he's gonna be the best option and then we'll take one of our final starting pitchers I was kind of hoping to get a common round right here we'll take the starter once again and then we finally get ourselves a common round I'll take the speedster and that's gonna be the center fielder even though now that takes center field away from us drew not a bad arsenal I'll take this Babe Ruth just in case even though that does end up locking out left fielders from us but I do want a good second baseman and I do want a good third baseman are you a lefty yeah we need at least one lefty so we'll knock that out of the way we'll take Miguel Sano for third base for second base you are most likely not going to be starting so it doesn't even really matter I'll take the best utility man and that's Harold Castro but his fielding is atrocious so I'll take Josh Harrison instead so what do we need to fill out here we need a center fielder we need a left fielder and we still need a second baseman so that's what we're going to be looking for Mike He's playing up against righties. We could use him as of right now with the options that we have available. We can use Connor as a pinch runner. So now once again, we're looking for a second baseman. We get Max Muncy. He can play second base for us. We're looking for a left fielder as well. Harmon Killebrew. We could put him at left field. The only thing is he loses his bronze fielding. And I'm not sure. Well, I'll check what Reese Hoskins fielding is at if Reese Hoskins has some pretty good fielding then I'll put him in left field instead and then we get ourselves Adam Duvall now Adam he can play center field so that is basically perfect for us even though he didn't really shine so 68 fielding yeah I'd rather have Reese in 
left field, Harmon at first, put Adam at center, and then for second base, we got ourselves Mac Muncy. And from a pretty bad lineup, this lineup turned out to be not that bad. It's still not that great of a lineup, but it's not that bad of a lineup. And I like that one, two, three. We're gonna have probably Harmon Killebrew backing him up right there. And then Reese Hoskins is gonna back up Harmon Killebrew. After that, we can go with probably Renfro, then Marcus, and then Duval. And we'll leave these guys here. In terms of the bullpen, the bullpen, just like our previous team, it's not bad. I think it's actually a pretty great bullpen. We have some really good arms here, all usable in my opinion. Starting rotation, another pretty good starting rotation. Let me know in the comment section below how many wins you think this team can go with. I think this is definitely a 12-win team, so let's hope for the best. Now, I forgot to end the video off, so if you did end up enjoying today's content, make sure you guys hit that like button and red subscribe button. We have Nate Pearson as one of the first starting pitchers that we can actually go ahead and add to the team on the next episode. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BladeMiss. Same way it's spelled on the YouTube channel. Username, click on the channel, community tab, interact with me there for grams. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out.